Welcome to this video. In this video, we'll start a journey to create a game. Uh, this is just the start of our journey. So you, uh, you will enjoy that. Uh, we will create a basic application that teach you how to control uh, objects using the keyboard. So the turtle, which we have it on the screen, you can move it left, right, using just the keyboard. The arrow up, arrow down, left and right. Also, you can use other keys later like uh, Q for quit and things like that. So we'll be using functions to do that. So our task will be, we will create two functions. The first one called move forward. When you press uh, the arrow up, it starts moving uh, into the uh, forward direction by 10 points every press. But if you keep your finger, it will go and do every uh, uh, second uh, uh, drawing 10 points. The other function will call it turn right. So if you press the arrow to the right, it will turn the turtle to the right. And then you can press forward and continue drawing. Now, if you know those two functions, you can create other functions to go backward, to go left, to do other things. So, keyboard will be using arrow up, arrow down, and uh, uh, these arrows. You will draw something like this, uh, which you, I'm sure you'll draw better than that. There are three steps you need to do. The first step, we need to set up the screen. So give it color, give it uh, size, and things like that. And the other will create the functions that we need. And the third will add event. An event when the user do something. User press on the arrow up, that's an event. How that event will be translated to, to uh, actions on computer. So, first one, set up the screen, we'll import turtle, then we'll use this function, screen equal t dot screen. See the function screen with, with s uppercase, uh, that's the function, but this one is lowercase. That's the way we decided to put our variable. So screen is our variable and this screen is a function in turtle. Now we'll give it a size. Setup is the dimension. So you give it 600 by 600. That's what I decided to do. You can select the size that you think is better for your game. And we'll give it a background green. Uh, I like green uh, for a reason. Then you will get something like this on the screen. So you'll get a green uh, screen. The next step, creating the function. So the first function is a very simple one. It doesn't receive any parameters or variables. Uh, it just uh, uh, do the action. And the action it will do, so we create a function called move ahead. And the action it will do, it will move forward by 10 points. That's the function. Now we have the functions how we can link that function to the user actions. The user press on, on arrow up, uh, how it moves forward. Python or Turtle has two functions that are very important. The first one called on key. Remember screen, the variable we created. So now our screen is waiting for us. When the user click uh, the arrow up, and this is here up, means this arrow. The user click arrow up, and then this function move ahead will be called. So that's one. The other line which is very important called listen. And listen that means the program will be waiting for the user to do any action. Listening to the user actions. When the user actions comes here, there's one action only it listens to. Is the arrow up. So this move ahead is the same function we have here, move ahead. Uh, this is different from the previous exercise where we used to have uh, open bracket and close bracket here. And, and the on key action you don't need, just you need the function name. Okay? And listen and up is this arrow up. You notice the U is uppercase, that's the way you need. You need right, you write right there. Left, you write left. Okay? Uh, so that's uh, one. So the listen now is waiting for us to do to do the action. 
The next thing now, if we want to add a function that turn the turtle right. So we just create this function, def right, that's it. And it will change the angle right by 10 uh, degrees. And then we need this line, another line, duplicating this line and changing turn right, move ahead to turn right. And here we're using the action right. Notice the screen listen should be the last one in your code. And this way you are ready for the exercise. Let's go first to um, Turtle. We'll show you how it works. So this is our code, the basic function that move forward. If we run it, then comes this. You don't do that. It keep going forward. There's no other way it goes. Now we can come here and create another function. We need to come to the same line, yeah? So def, we'll call it turn right. Okay, and this function basically will use the turtle t to turn right by 10 degrees. Okay, so function is done. Now to invoke it or call it, we need to have this line here and on key, the function name what now? Function name is turn right. Yeah, and we're using right now we have this here if we run now notice if you press you do that you do right a turn then you draw and then you start drawing some amazing stuff and that's how it works so we have basically we have something called screen listen that listen to the actions you have a line called screen dot on key and then you decide which function you want it to call when the user press what and this way we have the code now what you need to do on your own time you need now to do some more work these are things you need to do do this example yourself then add another function when the user press you it will more take the pin up and then you can move somewhere else without drawing and then you press d it's put it down and then you start drawing. I hope you find this video useful and you will enjoy the journey of creating your own game. Thank you.